Hey, what's going on guys? So as you can see, we are back out with the Mojave 4S again. Now, I did say in my last video that I wanted to swap over the motor to either a, a higher KV 4S motor or a 6S system. I will get to that, but today I wanted to bring the Mojave out and do a little bit of a, a comparison because Lee is here and he brought his Slash. The Slash, seriously guys, is a very fast, very capable car. It's super strong and obviously the Mojave just being released we're still kind of going through the paces, all the reviewers and everyone testing the car, but it does seem like it's a very strong car as well. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good comparison. Obviously they're both stadium or short course trucks, so it's a given we should do a, a kind of comparison video between the two cars. But just before we get to the driving part, I want to go over a couple of things on the Mojave. They are issues that other people have had as well, so I thought I'd let you know. Now the first thing guys was the body issue, the body not coming off. You take the body clips off, but the positioning pins on the chassis, they actually get stuck. They get filled up with dirt and stuff and the, the shell is very hard to get off. Most people have just been drilling out the positioning holes to 8.25 to 8.5 millimeters. So the positioning pins don't get stuck. One of the other major things that I've noticed was the shell. It's starting to really fall apart at the back here both sides as you can see and the shell does actually pop over the bumper and kind of get stuck sometimes and i did actually take this to the bmx track in the skate park the other day lee was there as well with his x max and his hsp but as you can see guys the little rubber flap on the bumper that actually started coming out and i just ripped it off there was no point having it on there it was actually getting caught in the wheels and stuff and um yeah making the car kind of come to a complete stop pulling down the front end and stuff so that was another issue other people were having i hope it doesn't happen too many times today but if it does i've come prepared guys i drilled a couple of little holes in the front of the body there the holes actually line up with the the very end screws here so yeah if it does happen i'll just take them screws out and actually mount the the body to the bumper so it doesn't doesn't get caught behind the wheels and stuff there's not really much else to mention the whole car is very strong it's just those those couple of issues the front bumper and the shell but it's still more than strong enough to support the the chassis and everything so yeah guys we'll see what we can do do a little bit of a comparison with the uh tracks of slash and yeah have a bit of fun <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so i'm just running 3s at the moment i've got one of the z power 8000 milliamp 3s batteries in there this has more than enough power on 3s for little areas like this little jumps and stuff but when you when you're launching the car what i kind of do with most of my cars it um it definitely helps having the 4s in there a little bit more punch a little bit more air control but yeah 3s is definitely fun Oh, yeah, that's one thing about the uh, Mojave being a little bit heavier. I guess it'll be a bit more stable because the the slash is very light. Yeah, you can see how much parachuting the um, slash gets. Thanks, man. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely a bit overgrown in this area. I did not see that tree stump. Don't think I broke anything. That was the other thing I, I forgot to mention guys, the springs. A few people now mention the springs, they lose their, their tension quite fast. Now, as you can see, mine is starting to do the same thing on the front, the rear, that's still got a little bit of tension there, but the front is getting really bad even after just two kind of hard runs. So we're gonna have to get them swapped out eventually it's good to have soft suspension on these short course style trucks but maybe not that soft what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, almost a bit, almost a bit better. So cool. Oh, more stuff in steering. Oh no, they're gone. What happened to our bark piles? <laughs> well, we don't have any jumps anymore. They have obviously come and used the, the bark, so we're gonna have to do what we can do with this tiny little bark area. Probably more suitable for these cars though. Not so much of a bashing area now. Oh, that's a really cool jump though. Yeah, that's an awesome jump. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you might need a little bit thicker oil in your shocks, mate. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm glad I hit the brakes then. All right, you count. Hey, you're getting a glitch, you're getting a glitch. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> See. Yeah, right. you have to get another hobby wing one. Yeah, man. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> wow. The slash definitely likes to wheelie. That's obviously because it's got no center uh, differential, guys. My you got the slipper clutch in the in the slash, don't you? Yep. Yeah. You got another battery? Yep. Awesome. They've got to do something about that steering. So much stuff gets stuck. Watch out for those. Well, more stuff in the steering. I got no steering almost. I forgot where Lee was sitting, he was actually miles away. I shouldn't have hit the brakes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice, mate, it's through the trees, the bushes there. was a mistake hitting the brakes then. Oh, more in the steering, guys. That's full lock. Nice. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, big job. Nice. So I think I've got to take the shell off and actually get everything out of the car because this steering keeps locking up. It's really bad today. It just gets clogged up so quickly, so easily. All right, so guys, obviously driving around in this thick bark sort of spot, that will cause more steering lockups compared to like sand or something like that. Oh no, that's my battery. <laughs> Low voltage. Low. All right, guys. So I got no 3S battery left. I did bring the 4S battery with me as well, so I'll chuck that in. I seriously do get a long runtime with this 8,000 milliamp 3S battery. I'm getting a good 20, 25 minutes, which for me, that's pretty good, eh? <laughs> All right, 4S is in, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that was definitely my fault. 
<laughs> yeah, mine's just a little bit faster with the 4S. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. That is awesome. Perfect little jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be all good. Hit directly on the roof. <laughs> oh, that did not sound nice. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, so this is what's happening here. So the, the bumper itself is going on top of the little module thing that they've hooked up to this plastic part here. That's what's pulling the front of the car down. Well, that's good that I know the issue now, we could probably put like a little little brace just at the top there to stop that thing from going underneath too far instead of having to screw it to the, to the actual body, you know? Oh, that was cool. Oh, yep, that was a bit rough. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> I caught a ride! <laughs> Here, try and clear this one. Nice! Gee, I shouldn't have hit the brakes then. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, to a big dramatic crash. Oh, and another one. Oh. How is this car so tough, actually? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we are torturing these cars today. I don't think this car could get much more exciting. Yeah, this thing can take an absolute beating. <laughs> Oh, guess what? I've already run through that 4S battery. That is not a surprise, guys. I was going hammer and tong. I, uh, I was never a massive fan of the short course stadium truck style cars, but ever since I met Lee, ever since he uh, showed me how good the Slash is, yeah, I can't get enough of them, guys. And the Mojave, it's no exception. It's an absolute weapon. I absolutely tortured it then. And nothing broke. And nothing broke. Absolutely tortured. But we can say the same thing about the Slash. You went pretty bloody hard oh, on the yeah, Slash man. then. <laughs> <laughs> they are tough, guys. Still Seriously. Going, so much fun together. Yeah, that was an epic, epic run. We definitely got to try and get these cars to a track or something. But first off, guys, I am going to change the motor out to the higher KV brushless motor. I'm definitely going to try a 6S system eventually. But as a couple of you did actually request the higher KV 4S motor, we'll go that first. 
I really can't wait to put the 6S system in it as well. It should be an awesome 6S car. Alrighty guys, as I said, I cannot wait to do it again. Cheers, catch you in the next video, and as always, stay safe. <laughs> awesome.